Welcome to Open House at Lamont Doherty. Wait, what? Come on. Welcome to Open House at Lamont Doherty. It's a day where exploration comes alive, discovery is sparked, and wonder is created. We are going to put in. We're going to put in a half cup of water. Stirring, honey. Keep on stirring. Open House is the chance for the scientists at Lamont to take all their toys and put them out on the lawn stir it, stir it. and invite the community to come see what they do. Try not to get on your mother. All year round. Yep, go for it. It's going to make a glob, we hope. It feels slimy. I never knew that. It was so, that gooey. It was lump stretching. So, you know, this is how glaciers grow. The snow falls high in the mountain. So what, what are you guys finding? What happens when the bottom of the ice sheet's slippery? It's in the top, it's it's sliding, isn't it? It connects the community with the science we do. And it, and it does the other way. It allows us to connect back to our community. Show everybody again. Look, look how it goes slipping down. Yeah, oh, look at it. What do they think oh, they are? Yeah. Look at them. What is seeds? It? Yeah, they're a different kind of seeds. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, is it spiky? They look like little beans. Yeah, yeah. It's a day where you experience how cool is science. I, I love this day. It's one of my favorite days of the year. I think for the community, it's great to be able to see what's happening in, in this place. No matter who you are, science is related to you. And just coming to Lamont helps you feel that vibe and that experience. And that's, that's why I'm here. And they meet the scientists and they find out that science is not only very approachable and understandable, but it absolutely speaks to their daily lives. The weather, uh, the oil spill. It's a day where you get to see that there are different fields of science and actually interact with them. Which is far better than reading a magazine article. And there's people talking about their experiments and their travels and what they're studying. A day here is like um, you're, you're going through time. You're going to the future, past, present, whatever. Okay, in this room we are going to listen to the sound of earthquakes. We're using sound to teach seismology, how waves move through the earth after an earthquake. And the exhibit is really about the one that caused the tsunami in 2004. We're taking those motions and shifting them up into the range we can hear. It's different from what I've seen. And, like, I've never really heard this before or know about it, really. So this earthquake was so big that those waves kept going for about six weeks. It was nice. It was a good experience. I like how they um, have it set up here. So you can hear the different sounds from all over, like different countries and stuff. What I'm trying to demonstrate is this, that rocks can behave very differently on different time scales. When they break, you get earthquakes. When they flow, you get mountain building and plate tectonics. If you have not touched this stuff, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Clean hands are not learning hands. So come on in, get your hands dirty. That's what science is all about. And get me get out of here and then we'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cool. We're having fun. It feels hard and sticky. I just want to say thank you. You're welcome. Amazing to see so many people passionate about science and wanting to share that with others. It's a day where science really comes alive. You can learn stuff you never learned before and just have fun. Right now I'm 15. I feel like I'm in college. I want to be a scientist when I grow up and I promised my dad I would get a PhD. I came to Open House here today to bring my son here. I'd like to encourage him to have an, some kind of scientific career. So hopefully I can meet a scientist and maybe get their email and ask them to be my mentor in the future. It's all about the most basic things about uh, the earth, the most important things about climate. And so people come and they say, oh, we're neighbors. <laughs> Blow hard. Really hard. Hold it tight. Hold it tight. Yeah. It's gurgling. Yeah. 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 We came here because we want to see the volcano. Because I want to see the volcanoes. Both, but they are twins. They love the volcanoes. And they love it. They, they just want to be here all day. Yeah. They're asking questions, what happened, why the lava come in, where is the eruption. Always they love volcanoes. Yeah. 
this is our big volcano. It's yeah. an example of a stratovolcano, kind of like Mount St. Helens. So it's really explosive. I think everybody's going to want to step back. We're going to have a really big one. One, two, three. I think I probably should. <laughs> Does it work with regular coats? Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to work best with diet coats. Yeah, but they're doing it. Right. Right. Good.